Hi there learners, grade 10, 11 and 12 and welcome to this long overdue video on the specs of the computer or we can say the specs of our computing devices because in front of me you can see there is a tablet, we've got a laptop, we've got a smartphone, we can have a desktop computer, anything like that. This is a big question, it comes up slowly in grade 10, then there's more emphasis on it in grade 11 and then the bulk of it comes through in grade 12 not just with the specs but a scenario usually around it so let's have a look at what we're actually talking about most of us deal with this when we go to buy a computer and then they give us all the features or all the specifications of this particular device and for the most part most people don't know what they're reading so this is what the focus is on when it comes to mostly grade 11 and 12, but you find a little bit of it coming through in grade 10 as well. This is what we need to understand. What is this that we are wanting to buy? What are we getting for our money? And when we understand that, it's going to help us to make better decisions. Okay. So here we can see this is, first of all, a desktop computer. Now, bear in mind, you might not always get this picture. At times, you might only get these specs and then you need to... Maybe you'll be asked, um, is this referring to a desktop or a laptop? And based on the specs, we will be able to work that out. And I'll show you how. So here we have our system unit. We have our monitor. We have our keyboard and our mouse. And we can see there and here it's a wired keyboard and mouse. Okay, so that's fine. Let's look at some of the key features. The first one is our Intel Core i3. What is that referring to? That is referring to the make and model of our CPU, our central processing unit. Intel is the manufacturer, and the model in this case is the Core i3. Okay, so manufacturer, model of the CPU. Then we said in our notes that the uh, speed of the CPU is measured in gigahertz. Look at what's next. 3.6 gigahertz speed the speed at which the cpu is running its clock speed is 3.6 gigahertz this is all regarding the cpu okay our next line talks about a 256 gigabyte so that's the space of what of the ssd the solid state drive now, this is a drive that is faster than our traditional hard drive. It's got no moving parts, it's electronic, all this type of thing. So um, this means that you've got a hard drive in here that's a lot faster than the traditional one. And the space that it has on that hard drive is 256 gigs. Okay. Remember, this is our secondary memory. Our primary memory is next, our 4 gigs of random access memory, our 4 gigs of RAM. Then we have an addition that they're telling us here. There's an A4 tech. That's the manufacturer of the mouse and keyboard. So you get in a mouse and keyboard combo. Would you get this with a laptop? Generally, no. Okay. So that's one of the keys that we know that this is, if we didn't have the picture that we're talking about, a desktop computer. Here's the next one. It's got an 18.5 inch LED monitor. That means it's a standalone unit over there. Usually, if they just hit LED screen, um, then that would be referring to the screen of a laptop. So that's how I know it's different. And they're telling me that it comes with software as well. I'm getting Windows 10 and Microsoft Office 2016 included. That means it's already been installed on here. I can just switch it on and I can start running. And if I buy this by the 15th of August 2020, I get an additional 4 gigs of RAM free. That means it takes this total up to 8 gigs. So you could get a question that says, well, if you purchase this machine before the 15th of August, how much primary memory will you actually have? And it's not just the 4 gigs, it's this one as well. So you'll have a total of 8 gigs of RAM. Okay, let's look at another example. Here's one. Uh, also, big sale. We've got our picture, so we know it's a desktop. But have a look at this. Intel i3-3300 operating at 3.7 gigahertz. That's my speed. That's my manufacturer. This is telling me the model. 
here I've got my primary memory, four gigs of primary memory, and it's operating at this speed. It's got it's based on the DDR3. So remember, this is the speed at which my RAM can transfer data. The higher this is, um, the more speed I'm going to have because you have DDR, DDR2, DDR3, DDR4, etc. Um, it's like with your cell phones when you have 3G, 4G, 5G. Okay, each one just indicates that it's a bit faster than the one before. We've got 500 gigs hard drive, HDD. So that's my traditional hard drive. It connects with a SATA cable, but it's still a traditional hard drive and it's 500 gigs of space. Then I've got Intel graphics. This means it's built in um, graphics that's able to uh, do whatever I need to on the PC. They tell me a case with true rated PSU. What is a PSU? Power supply unit. So they tell me I'm getting my tower, my case, my system unit over here with the power supply, keyboard and mouse. Um, this is the manufacturer of the uh, speakers. I'm going to get a keyboard and mouse and a 19 inch wide LCD monitor as well. And some freebies I'm going to get with that is a headset and a mouse pad. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and installed uh, Windows will be installed and Microsoft Office. Okay. So do you see that it's more or less the same when we look at these specs, they give us the same sort of things, right? Here's another one. Now this is different because this is an all in one PC. Okay, that means it's a, literally just the monitor and a keyboard and a mouse. Um, everything is built in here, right? Like your iMacs. So this one comes with Windows 11 Pro already installed. Now look at this, because now I ask you for the primary and secondary memory. Um, where's my secondary memory? Because I'm seeing something weird here. 256 gigs, M.2, NVMe, PCI, 3. Yo, um, it's confused me a bit, but what am I seeing? The first thing I see is the space, right? 256 gigs. Now, I might not be familiar with this, and I'll go through this. But have a look here. SSD, what does that stand for? Solid state drive. So this must be referring to a hard drive. But not the traditional hard drive, it's going to be an SSD. But not even the traditional SSD, this is an M.2 drive. Um, in one of my shorts, I show you exactly what the M.2 drive looks like, so go and check that out. Um, but this is a smaller version of the traditional SSD, um, the ones that they use in laptops, in MacBooks as well. So they're just telling you what type of SSD drive is in here. Next one... Remember, this is our secondary memory. Our primary memory is here. 8 gigs of DDR4 SO DIMM. So they're just telling you the characteristics of that stick of RAM. And it's one stick of 8 gigs um, of RAM. So you know you're getting a decent amount of RAM. Then here's our processor, Intel Core. So we know our manufacturer is Intel. It's a Core i5 and there's the particular model of our CPU, it's running at 3.3 gigahertz, but can go up to 4.6 gigahertz. It's telling us that it can connect to Wi-Fi as well. Um, you can connect to it via Bluetooth. And the monitor itself is a full high definition 23 inch display. Now remember, our, the size of our screen is measured diagonally in inches. This is a full HD, which means we have high, a high quality image. Um, and that's our all-in-one PC. Do you see how much we pulled from this, from the operating system to our secondary memory or our hard drive or our storage rather, and then our memory, our CPU, um, some of the functionality, some of the features, and then the size and quality of the monitor as well. Here's another example. Here's a laptop. What does this one come with? Well, it comes with Windows 11 Home, so I know the operating system is installed. Now, do you see the difference between this ad, ad and the one right at the beginning with the desktop? Do you see, if I didn't have this picture here, and it says to me 15.6 inch Full HD display, that's a display, not a monitor. If you see monitor, it's a standalone item, okay? We move on, and here we have our primary and secondary memory all in one line. Our primary memory is 8 gigs of RAM. Our secondary is 512 gigs of SSD storage. So I know I'm getting 
um, a very good hard drive and getting a solid state drive instead of a traditional hard drive. Most laptops nowadays come out with SSDs anyway. I'm getting a very nice processor and Intel Core i7. And then there is the uh, particular model number that goes with this i7 processor. I'm getting better graphics than normal. That's why they make mention of this graphics card that's in there. Um, I'm being told about the chiclet keyboard with number key, right? In other words, it's got that little number pad on the side there. Um, I've got a VGA camera as well, and I've got a three-year warranty upon registration. So they could ask you what this warranty means. It basically means that if anything goes wrong, you can phone them, they come out, they fix it, done. And then my last one, and I hope you are with me now, I hope you are really understanding all of this, um, seeing what they can actually pull out from these specs. Here is a gaming PC, and if I don't have the picture, that's also fine, but I need to understand these things. So here, for example, and I've broken it down this way, um, I've got an Intel Pentium, and there's the particular model. This is telling me all about the CPU. Does it mention the speed of the CPU? In this case, no. All right. Yeah, it tells me what type of motherboard I'm going to be having. There's all the specs with regards to that. This is basically just the model of that particular motherboard. Have a look at the RAM. It's not just four gigs of RAM that's operating operating with DDR at a speed of 2,400 megahertz per second. No, 400 megahertz. Um, it's also a Corsair Vengeance brand, right? So the brand here is Corsair, the, the model is your Vengeance LPX, and then your speed. So a lot of information there just in the RAM. Then with your hard drive, right? This one, traditional hard drive, Western Digital, um, blue. It's a one terabyte drive connected with SATA. Um, the cabinet that, in other words, that is our tower here, our system unit. That's the make and model of that. The power supply, also Corsair power supply and the specific graphics card. Now, this is interesting because with your graphics card here now, it's not just the make and the model, but it's actually telling me, and look at this, look at this. Do you see with my RAM, I have DDR4, yeah, I've got GDDR5. Why? Because uh, my graphics card is of such a nature that it has its own memory okay it has its own memory this means we're dealing with a really solid graphics card okay so it's got its own four gigs of ram that's separate from the ram that the pc uses so this means that i can you know render 3d graphics i can use it for video editing i can play whatever i want to on this because um, we can see the type of graphics card and this relates to the graphics card only okay so, folks, I hope you have a very good idea now in terms of the PC specs, questions that can come from it, and that when you see specs like this, you actually understand what they are saying to you.